my title is recruiter. There's this element of, you know, trying to get people to join the Peace Corps, sure. Um, but I, I think of myself more as a representative, and I tell people about the Peace Corps, the pros and the cons. Um, and Peace Corps is not for everybody. So if, if in the end they feel like Peace Corps is something that they would like to do, that they're willing to live with less amenities than they're used to, and commit a full two years in order to have a bigger impact as far as sustainability and friendship between countries go, then that's great. And if they don't, then, then that's fine too. If anybody's interested in joining Peace Corps, they come to me. I help them work through the process, fill out the paperwork, finish their application. I interview them. And then from there, um, I sort of let them go to, I can, I can nominate them to a program. And then once they're nominated, I let them go to go through their, their um, legal, medical, and dental checks. And then once they're cleared, then they're good to go. The whole process usually takes 9 to 12 months. So if you're interested in applying, apply about a year in advance. So I was an environmental education volunteer. And then I came back to grad school afterwards to study sustainable communities. But NAU has a really tight relationship with the forestry program. So um, there, there are two great opportunities for forestry students. One is that they can do Masters International. And in that case, they do a year of graduate study in forestry here at NAU. And then they go abroad with the Peace Corps and work for the 27 months as a Peace Corps volunteer. And then they return and do their thesis, as far as I know. So just one more semester after Peace Corps. And then they're done with Peace Corps, and they've got their master's degree. Uh, the other option is called fellows. And that's more similar to what I'm doing. So then a forestry student could, could get their, their bachelor's in anything, something forestry related, uh, go abroad and do, um, do forestry work as a volunteer in one of 76 countries around the world, and then come back from Peace Corps and get into the forestry program through fellows. And that basically allows for scholarships, um, graduate assistantships. So a lot of times what happens is if you're working in forestry in the Peace Corps, then you come back here, and while you're in grad school, you work for 10 or 20 hours a week in something forestry related and then you get some sort of compensation to help you with grad school costs. I think, I think Peace Corps is such a life-changing experience that the people who have gone through it sort of have this bond and it's really good to see the faculty in the forestry department here at NAU. So many of them have done Peace Corps at, at one point or another in their life, sometimes 20 years ago, sometimes five years ago. But we really are, I feel like, like a family. And, um, and for any, anybody who wants to join the Peace Corps through the Forestry Department, um, you know, we're here for you. We're here for you to support that process. The requirements to get into Peace Corps are you have to be at least 18 years old. Usually you have to have a college degree, but sometimes people have grown up on a, a permaculture farm or bring some sort of great skill to the table. And by the age of 18 or 19, they're an expert and they make great volunteers. But 90% of people have a college degree. Uh, you have to be a U.S. citizen. You have to have uh, a good combination of life skills, experience, and education that will make you a competitive applicant. And you have to be in good health. Peace Corps is a 27-month commitment, so you do three months of in-country training, and then 24 months, so two years of service after that. Um, and then when you're done, you're done. I just happen to come back to grad school because, as I mentioned earlier, Peace Corps opens doors for you. It allows you to. Um, to take the next step. So the benefits of being in Peace Corps include full medical and dental coverage while you're in the Peace Corps and you actually have a sort of like a private doctor. You can go to the Peace Corps office, you walk in, knock on the door and say, hey, uh, I need to see you right now and they're there for you. It's great. Uh, beyond that, you get a readjustment allowance when you're finished that comes out to about $7,000 so that helps you just readjust back into this culture, get an apartment or whatever you need to do. Um, while you're in Peace Corps, you get, I got a million Guaranis a month, which came out to about $225 US. And that was enough for me to live very well, to live like a, a well-paid teacher in my community. And I couldn't buy a motorcycle or a horse or anything like that, but I, I got a bicycle and food to eat, and I could go to the city every once in a while to talk to my grandma on, on the internet. So it was good.